What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads. The NBA Conference Finals are set. They start on Sunday afternoon, and oh, let's go. Let's go. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on these conference finals. I want to hear what you think is going to happen. I want to hear your predictions. So let's start this off with the Western Conference, because that is the powerhouse. We have the Houston Rockets, the Golden State Warriors. Draymond Green gets interviewed. He says to... The press, listen, we don't care who we play. Everyone was talking about, oh, we want to see this team, we want to see that team. We just won championships. I don't care who we play. But now that we're getting the Rockets, game on. So let's go. And let's be real. They knew this whole time that they wanted to see the Rockets. They wanted to take them down. A few stats, a few crazy things that I saw. First off, the Golden State Warriors are now playing away from home. For their first two games. They haven't experienced anything like that. So the Houston Rockets have home court advantage to start. The Rockets. They are the number one team in playing the most isolation basketball. And they don't have as many assists per basket as you would think for being such a top squad. On the other hand, you have the Golden State Warriors. They don't play a lot of isolation basketball. And their ball movement is amazing. And they have 30 plus assist games all the time. So it really is two different styles of play of basketball. And when you think about it, you would think that, you know, the team-based Golden State Warriors team who has been to the final so many times and winning championships would be the team to win. They have a lot of depth. I mean, the addition of KD with Steph Curry coming back, Clay Thompson, if he can shoot the way he has been, there were some games there where they've been a little faulty in like four for 19, but if he shoots the way he does, Draymond Green bringing the defense, the energy, the boards, it's going to be tough to beat this team. I want to see the Rockets win. Chris Paul finally gets an opportunity to play in the conference finals. James Harden is playing fantastic ball, and you guys have like Capella stepping up. So I do want to see the goal, the Golden State Warriors fall to the Houston Rockets to kind of switch the scenery up for the NBA Finals, but I just don't know if the Houston Rockets have enough based off their isolation play. I'm going to go out on the limb and say my prediction is going to be the Rockets in seven because that's what I want to see, but I just don't know if they have enough firepower to beat the Golden State Warriors. Now let's go to the other side with the Eastern Conference Finals. You have the Boston Celtics. Boo! Boo! And the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron James. Now I just witnessed the Boston Celtics beat my Sixers and athletic, young, long, energized, home court advantage also plays a huge factor. So, you know, they even have Al Horford, who's a veteran-like guy, and Brad Stevens, who came up with a great game plan to stop Ben Sip. But, LeBron James is a different animal. Can you put down a game plan to stop LeBron James? This isn't the same Cavs team that has struggled. This is a Cavs team with Kevin Love, who's playing great basketball, and J.R. Smith, who's hitting some threes. Now, they just swept the Toronto Raptors, even though they went seven with the Indiana Pacers. I think that, you know, it's LeBron James, guys. It's not just anybody else. So, it's going to be tough. This team was in the Eastern Conference in the years past last year, and LeBron did his thing. I just can't imagine LeBron not doing this. I will say that you have a little bit more athleticism. You have a little bit more youth to the Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum got interviewed. How are you going to stop LeBron James? He said, listen, this is my first time. This is my first attempt. I don't know. And can you really see LeBron James stopping being stopped by Jason Tatum? No. And Brad Stevens is going to come up with the best game plan that he possibly can. But at the end of the day, we all have to factor in that this is LeBron James. This is LeBron James. Now, the Celtics have not lost in the TD Garden yet this playoffs. I think that changes this series. This is a whole different ball game. Kevin Love is actually playing fantastic ball as of late, too. When you're talking about an, another all-star added to LeBron James, isn't LeBron just carrying the squad anymore? As of last series, everyone's kind of been helping and contributing, so it's just different. So I'm going to go out and say that the, the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to win this in six on their home floor, but the Boston Celtics are going to make them earn it. They're going to win some games. They're going to win two. They're going to make them earn it. They're going to make them work hard, and it's going to come down to some really close games. I just think LeBron James is a different beast, and he's going to find a way. He's going to find a way. They're getting into a rhythm. They're getting into a rhythm. He's experienced. He's been there before way too many times, consistently, consecutively. I, really, I just don't know if a, if a 
team filled with this much youth is going to be able to stop the greatest basketball player that my eyes have ever seen in the history of the game. LeBron James. So, with that being said, like I said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your personal thoughts and opinions and predictions on these series. I would love to hear them. I really would. It's going to be awesome. I mean, both of these. Both of these matchups are going to be fun, exciting. The energy is going to be there, especially that Western Conference side. That That is going to play out like an NBA final. It really is. So make sure you keep an eye on these series. Watch them. Enjoy them. Come check out the breakdowns of them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.